We've done a few videos on budget GPUs in the past, but they've usually focused mostly on price rather than performance. While the price of a GPU is usually the first thing that we all see, performance can be just as important in letting you game at the settings and resolution that you want. So then, which GPUs provide the best value or price to performance? Well, let's get into this. So before we start this discussion, I would like to say that we're going to be focusing more on performance rather than price. While the upfront price did go into consideration when deciding these GPUs, we tried to determine which cards to feature in this video primarily on how they perform relative to their price. So let's get into this. The first GPU we're going to discuss today is the GTX 970. Coming in at less than $100, this card offers 1050 Ti killing performance for around half the price. With the 1664 CUDA cores and 4GB of GDDR5, the 970 is a very capable 1080p 60fps card, despite the fact that it's now almost 5 years old. In fact, this card remains to be one of the most popular GPUs ever released, and it's a great card to buy if you're looking to get into some 1080p gaming. Pair one of these bad boys up with the Ryzen 3 1200, and you've got a very capable gaming system on your hands. Having performance roughly equivalent to that of the RX 570, this GPU offers a value similar to a card that's nearly twice its price. If you're looking to complete a budget PC, then the GTX 970 is a fantastic choice, and its specs and other features will keep this card relevant and a decent choice into the future. This next GPU might actually be a bit surprising, as it offers performance that rivals the much more expensive GTX 1060 for less than half the price. The RX 480 was the mid-range king from AMD back in 2016, and for around $100, this card still represents a great value budget graphics card. With 8 gigs of GDDR5 and 2,304 cores, the RX 480 not only has the memory, but also the core specs to power through games and other work case scenarios. With performance roughly 10% behind the GTX 1060, this card is a great 1080p gaming workhorse. Pairing this card with an inexpensive Ryzen 3 processor will give you excellent results, and if you're looking for an inexpensive workstation card, then the RX 480 is a great substitute for a lower-end NVIDIA Quadro or AMD Vega offering. Plus, if you want to get into VR, then this card is a relatively inexpensive and capable card that will offer you playable frame rates for all your virtual reality needs. For 100 bucks, this card is a great value, and it's a great example of how far you can stretch a tight budget. This next card is a bit more expensive, but offers 1060 class performance at a much lower price. The RX 580 released almost two years ago, and represents how much value you can truly get from a new graphics card. Although the price for these GPUs shot up during the cryptocurrency mining craze, they've since dropped significantly, and it's easy to find one of these new cards for around $180. With specs almost identical to that of the previous generation RX 480, this card provides specs and a memory configuration that will keep this card relevant and capable well into the future. While other newer offerings from NVIDIA such as the GTX 1660 or the 1660 Ti beats out the RX 580 rather soundly, they are much more expensive and not as abundant. Plus, like the previously mentioned RX 480, this card is also a great inexpensive workstation GPU, and will let you get into content creation or even work well for other professional related tasks. Pair this card with the Ryzen 5 1600 and you've got yourself a very capable 1080p gaming and editing rig. This card is still great nearly 2 years later and shows no signs of dying anytime soon. Up next on our list, this card may be a bit controversial, as performance just barely beats out the 1050 Ti, but for around $70 it's hard to pass up. The Radeon HD 7970 is a high-end offering from AMD released back in mid-2012. With performance roughly equivalent to that of the RX 470, this card by no means performs poorly, and with 3 gigs of GDDR5 and 2048 cores, the 7970 offers specs that are suited to 1080p gaming. While the VRAM capacity may become limiting in the future, if you're planning on gaming at 1080p or using this card for the next year or two, then you'd be perfectly satisfied. While you couldn't really use this card as a workstation substitute, for gaming this card has aged rather well since its release, and its price reflects how great this GPU can be if you're reasonable with your settings. While it is nearly 7 years old, it's actually held up significantly better than other offerings from around the same time. If you're looking for an inexpensive and somewhat temporary 1080p capable card, then the HD7970 is a great choice, especially at its rather low price. The last card on our list may not be a surprise, as it's incredibly popular. The AMD RX 570 can be found for around $160, and for its price, it's hard to find any GPU that can compete with it. Being roughly 33% ahead of the 1050 Ti, while being the same price, this card is a no-brainer if you're trying to decide between these two very popular GPUs. 
Fresh out of the box, the RX 570 represents the best value that you can get for a new graphics card. And with 2048 cores in either 4 or 8 gigs of GDDR5, this card will remain a great value for years to come. While it's more expensive than other cards we've mentioned in this video, the premium is honestly worth it when taking its performance and overclocking headroom into consideration. If you're trying to build a new budget 1080p capable gaming rig, then going with the RX 570 is probably one of the best options available on the market. So thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and click the bell icon so you'll be notified about all our future uploads. And also tell us, what do you think about this list? Do you agree with it, or do you think we forgot a GPU or two? I can't wait to see what you guys have to say, and I hope you all have a fantastic day. So thanks again for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.